Bengal and Siberian tigers are both subspecies of the panthera tigris, but they have different physical and behavioral adaptations. Bengal tigers are smaller, more agile, and have more orange coat with black stripes, while Siberian tigers are larger, heavier, and have a paler coat with brown stripes. You're watching Grittered Gospel. In this video, we will compare Bengal and Siberian tiger through 17 amazing facts. So watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe. Number 1. Bengal tigers are the most common subspecies of tigers, with about 2500 individuals left in the wild, while Siberian tigers are the rarest, with only about 500 remaining. Number 2. Bengal tigers have a more vibrant orange coat with black stripes, while Siberian tigers have a paler coat with brown stripes. Number 3. Bengal tigers live in hot and humid climates such as grasslands, forests, and mangroves, while Siberian tigers live in cold and snowy climates such as tundras, coniferous forests, and grasslands. Number 4. Bengal tigers are smaller and more agile than Siberian tigers, with an average length of 6 to 10 feet and an average weight of 222 kilograms, while Siberian tigers are larger and heavier with an average length of 7 to 12 feet and an average weight of 320 kilograms. Number 5. Bengal tigers have a thinner coat and less fat than Siberian tigers, which helps them cope with the heat, while Siberian tigers have a thicker coat and more fat, which helps them cope with the cold. Number 6. Bengal tigers have smaller ears than Siberian tigers, which reduces heat loss while Siberian tigers have larger ears which increases heat dissipation. Number 7. Bengal tigers have a shorter and rounder face than Siberian tigers, which gives them a more expressive look, while Siberian tigers have a longer and narrower face which gives them a more fierce look. Number 8. Bengal tigers have a more diverse diet than Siberian tigers. Hunting animals such as peacocks, buffaloes, monkeys, wild boars, and antelopes, while Siberian tigers mainly hunt deer, elk, moose, and wild boars. Number 9. Bengal tigers are more social than Siberian tigers, forming groups of females and cubs, while Siberian tigers are more solitary, only coming together for mating or sharing large kills. Number 10. Bengal tigers are more vocal than Siberian tigers, making sounds such as roars, growls, snarls, horns, and shoves while Siberian tigers are more silent, only making sound when necessary. Number 11. Bengal tigers are more active during the day than Siberian tigers, which helps them avoid human conflict, while Siberian tigers are more active during the night, which helps them avoid predators and competitors. Number 12. Bengal tigers have a shorter gestation period than Siberian tigers, giving birth to 2-4 to four cubs after 103-105 to 105 days while Siberian tigers give birth to 1 to 5 cubs after 108 to 112 days. Number 13. Bengal tigers have a higher mortality rate than Siberian tigers, losing about 50% of their cubs before they reach maturity, while Siberian tigers lose about 30% of their cubs. Number 14. Bengal tigers have a shorter lifespan than Siberian tigers, living for about 8 to 10 years in the wild and 16 to 18 years in captivity while Siberian tigers live for about 10 to 15 years in the world and 20 to 25 years in captivity. Number 15. Bengal tigers have more genetic diversity than Siberian tigers, which makes them more adaptable and resilient, while Siberian tigers have less genetic diversity, which makes them more vulnerable and inbred. Number 16. Bengal tigers have more threats than Siberian tigers, facing poaching, habitat loss, human wildlife conflict, and climate change, while Siberian tigers mainly face poaching and habitat loss. And number 17, Bengal tigers have more conservation efforts than Siberian tigers, benefiting from projects such as Project Tiger, Save the Tiger Fund, and WWF, while Siberian tigers rely on initiatives such as the Amor Tiger Program, the Siberian Tiger Project, and the International Tiger Coalition. So viewers, that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this comparison. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. There's plenty more to come and I'll see you in my next one.